Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the breaking news regarding Memphis Depay and then we're going to be moving on towards Kunde, who has been linked to FC Barcelona and then lastly we are going to be talking about Fabian Ruiz, a player that is from Napoli. But to start off with this video, we are going to be talking about Memphis Depay because there is some breaking news and it says here according to Mate Moreto, Memphis Depay's contract at Barcelona would be for three years, which basically means that this contract that Barcelona is going to be given towards Memphis Depay, it will lead up towards June 2024. It is basically a long-term contract. And you look at the amount of years Memphis Depay is going to be staying with Barcelona, he is going to be fitting in exactly within the years that Messi will be remaining with this club. I feel like this club is seeing Memphis Depay as a player that should be taking part of the project that is being built around Lionel Messi. So it's very interesting. And then as we continue here, if nothing goes wrong, wrong, Memphis Depay will be a Barcelona player within the next 48 hours. So it could be within the next 12 hours, within the next 24, 36 to 48 hours. I do assume that Barcelona will be announcing this player before Wednesday this week does hit. And it makes sense, right? Because I think that Barcelona and Laporta, they do want to aim to announce and complete this move before the Euros does start. So it won't be in the way. And you look at how Memphis Depay has been performing with Holland. He is on form. In the past two games, he has scored a total of three goals and provided one assist and looking at the way that he has been performing and the stats that he has put out you can just get a feeling right there is a sensation coming from Memphis Depay that he does want to prove to everyone that he is a top quality player he has been performing very well as of late ever since he was in negotiations with FC Barcelona and you can also get a feeling that Depay does know that this was a Barcelona team that did struggle to find their goal scorer and, Mem and Memphis Depay wants to show to the world that he could be that aid. As we do continue down these reports, it says here, Barcelona is very confident of completing this deal despite what happened with Wijnaldum. Depay desires to wear the Barcelona shirt. The club is working with the intentions of finalizing his arrival quickly before the Euros does begin. And so here's the thing, right? With Memphis Depay coming to Barcelona, seeing that this is going to be another good addition to our attacking line, with Depay moving to this club, there has to be at least two players that should be leaving from the front line in this coming summer because I just do not see all of these players staying within the club because there's just because there is just too many options you need to have the balance of having healthy rotation and having these players see a lot of minutes so as things currently do stand at the moment you look at the options that Barcelona have in their attacking line we can see Asu Fati is in it Griezmann Dembele Sergio Guero is in it Trincao Messi Memphis Depay and Martin Brethwaite and again you look at this list at least two players are going to have to exit this summer if not, maybe even a loan. So the Depay transfer is going to be having a great ripple effect. But I do think that in the end, this is an attack that will be looking very different in the next season. And this is also an attack that has been clearly strengthened for the better. The only real thing that I do want to point out when it comes to these players coming to Barcelona is that I really do hope that Matteo Alemani, Ramon Planes, the coach, Joan Laporta, they do have a set project for these players, a set role on how they will be functioning within the image that Barcelona as a whole do want to portray. That is what's most important because it does not matter how many quality players you do have. It does not matter how many Mbappes, Halans, Neymars, Messis, and Ronaldos you're going to be having in the team. The number one thing that this club should be taking care of is the project, it is a set way of playing and how you do want to approach the oppositions. Then you're really going to be having something. If Barcelona can do that with Memphis Depay, Sergio Aguero, Messi, Ansu Fati, and many of these great players, then we could go far. Moving on towards the next story of today, and we are going to be talking about Kunde. So this one is a very interesting story because I did not expect for us to talk about Kunde this early in the summer. But it says here, according to Fernando Polo, there is a player who is linked with FC Barcelona, and that player is Kunde. And Sevilla do want a minimum of 60 million euros if they do decide to sell this player. Now here's the thing: Kunde has made it very clear in the past three to four weeks that he does want to move on and go to a different club. He has said that very clearly that he believes that it is now the right time to take the step forward for him to progress in his career. And you look at who Kunde is, right? This is a player that's a very decisive player. We have seen Kunde with Sevilla play tremendously well, where many could say that he is a very decisive player. This is also a defender that does have an eye for goal. Yes, he is a defender that is always looking to score. And the physical nature coming from this player is what greatly stands out. Then we can also move on towards the quality of his speed, the way that he covers ground very quickly when the opposition is counterattacking 
attacking, Kunde does very well at doing that. But you look at how I do describe these qualities, right? I really want you guys to pay attention to what's actually going on here. The way that I just described Kunde is exactly how we describe Ronald Araujo. So if we were to talk about Araujo and Kunde, these are two players who are very alike. The only way I could separate Kunde from Araujo would be that Kunde does have the athleticism and he greatly portrays that on the pitch, which is what makes him a great player. So if you were to ask me, right, if Barcelona actually do sign Kunde in the summer, what could it look like? I would expect Kunde to play alongside Eric Garcia within a back four because again, Kunde and Araujo are the exact same player. So he would be taking that position. But let's take a step back, right? And let's ask a very important question. You look at the amount of defenders that has been linked to FC Barcelona, and I'm going to be naming them right here. We have Delit that is worth around 90 million euros. We have Kunde who is worth around 60 million euros. And then we have Lisandro Martinez from Ajax who is worth around 25 million euros. So instead of asking what defender is the best within this list that Barcelona should be signing, the other question that we should be asking is this, what defender would greatly fit Barcelona regardless of the asking price? What defender does Barcelona need the most? Because there are different types of defenders. And if we were to examine this list, the best answer towards that would be De Ligt. De Ligt is the player that Barcelona do need. Barcelona need a center back that is a carrier, that is good on the ball. Someone that can sit down Eric Garcia because if you were to ask me what defender could sit down Eric Garcia next season in terms of having great on the ball ability, there's not a player that can do that. Bringing in De Ligt to Barcelona, he would sit down Eric Garcia. And can you just imagine what it would be like for Barcelona to have Araujo on the right and De Ligt on the left as our center back duo, this is going to be a defensive line that's going to be solid for years. It's going to be for years because if we have De Ligt, Araujo, Minguesa, and Eric Garcia as our options, we would be 100% for the next five to six years at the very least. And we can also have healthy rotation. So maybe see Eric Garcia and De Ligt, maybe sometimes see Araujo and Eric Garcia, maybe see Minguesa and De Ligt. It will be a very interesting situation for Barcelona to be in. So if Juan Laporta can actually see the opportunity and manage to sign a player like De Ligt in the coming summer, I would highly suggest for Laporta to do so because tactically it does make a lot of sense. And then lastly, I do want to talk about our last player, which is Fabian Ruiz. This has been a rumor that has surfaced the media since 2019. Barcelona being linked to this player. This is not the first time we have heard about this type of report, but it says here, Leonardo, who is the PSG director, is interested in a player named Fabian Ruiz. He is also a player that has been linked to FC Barcelona, but there has been no contacts with Napoli, just general information from his representatives. So here's the thing that I do want to clear out. Fabian Ruiz is a great player. We know that he has he has a tremendous amount of quality. He's very creative, the way that he shields the ball and being very hard to take down, that is top notch. The type of profile that Fabian Ruiz does portray, it is what Barcelona do need and they would greatly benefit from his qualities. But I do believe that that is what's going to stop Barcelona from signing this player or this report going even further into detail about Barcelona being very interested in this player because Barcelona is a team that already has many midfielders and to be more specific, many interior type of players like Fabian Ruiz. We already have those type of qualities in this squad. The only thing Fabian is going to be doing in Barcelona is overload our position. So as of now, I would say that we should take this with a grain of salt only because Barcelona already has what Fabian could bring. But that is going to be it for today's Barcelona daily news. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Yo.